Hello lads and lassies and welcome back to my channel as I'm Mr. Mayhem. Today we are back for part two of 20 of my favourite films. Now before we get into this, if you do enjoy this, remember to like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description. Once again, this is just, you know, 20 of my favourite films. This is in no order. Um, this is just 20 I've picked out. And uh, again, this is my opinion. So, you know, if you hate these films, awesome. If you love them, awesome. But yeah, so we're going to start off with uh, one that is very recent in terms of me coming to the realization that I actually kind of adore it and that is Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, this is a film that it's on cinemas and I, re I really really liked. I liked it a lot more than most people did at the time. Um, it's a very nice steelbook. This is a this is a 3D Blu-ray steelbook. Um, uh, I also did have a standard copy but I traded in all my MCU stuff when I got 4Ks so um, but uh, I also have 4K. But uh, this is a film that <sighs> I was thinking about it the other day and it really is just so unique to me at least. I love Jake Gyllenhaal. I love the globetrotting adventure they go on. I think the ending slaps. I just, I love everything about this film. Um, yeah, it's probably my, oh, do I say it? I think it's probably my favourite of the home trilogy. If it's it's my favourite of the Home trilogy, but then, like, No Way Home is kind of an easy, it's kind of an easy clap. Um, but I do, I, I love this and No Way Home equally. Um, I just think it is absolutely fantastic. It is so much fun, and I'm considering actually watching it tonight. So, um, yeah, Far From Home, just beautiful. Uh, then we have uh, one that, uh, this is a film that I did see in cinemas, and I thought it was decent when I saw it in cinemas. I pre-ordered the steelbook but cancelled it last minute. But they just sent me it anyway, and there, I have no record of it in my on my banking uh, that any like that the money was taken for it at all. So I kind of got this for free, and I watched it again a couple of years ago, and I fucking love it. And that is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, this is my this is probably my favorite Tarantino. I love the old Hollywood stuff. I think the story is just so much fun. Uh, Brad Pitt and, and, Leonardo, and Leonardo DiCaprio are so entertaining. I just Cinema, cinema, Quentin, and I'm very sad to see that your next one will be your last, but I'm sure it'll be a banger, but this is my favourite Tarantino by far. And one of my favourite films. Uh, speaking of favourite films, oh, that's what this video is about. Uh, we, we, we have another film that you probably just saw it there, but I love... I never saw this in cinema, sadly, um, but I did get it day one, but there was no standard Blu-ray, so I ended up picking up the 3D one, which comes with a nice lenticular. But uh, it's Mad Max Fury Road. This film just... Mm, mwah, the action is insane. Do I need to say much more? It is incredible. It looks gorgeous. It sounds gorgeous. It just... It is gorgeous. It is a fantastic film. It is a perfect film, in my opinion. It is so much fun. Holy shit. My God, George Miller, you came back and you fucking slapped. Like, you... 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 Oh. What a guy. Fantastic shit. Uh, now, here's one that's going to be controversial. <laughs> Star Wars Force Awakens. Uh, I have the Dark Side Blu-ray, the 3D Collector's Edition, the 4K, and a steelbook I got in CEX. Um, for this, for express purposes, I'm going to use this one. Star Wars Force Awakens is my favourite Star Wars film and my favourite, and one of my favourite films. This was my first Star Wars film I saw in the cinema. Um, after hearing all about them from my dad and watching them through my childhood, then seeing one in cinemas, this film is so special to me. Um, and that's never going to change. I know a lot of people do not like it, but I absolutely adore this film. And nothing's ever going to change that. I just... It's so special to me, and I have so much fun with it. That's also why I own four copies of it. Uh, next, we have the Sigma Males film of choice. American Psycho. This film is hilarious. This film is amazing. Pa uh, Patrick, oh God. Christian Bale is incredible as Patrick Bateman. Um, I mean, what else is there to say? He's just, he's, it's darkly comedic and it's just... <sighs> cinema. Just fantastic. Watched this recently. Brilliant. 4K looks pretty good, but it's not great. But still, film is perfection. Uh, now we have one of my favourite superhero films. Um, 
And yeah, this when I heard they were making this, I was so excited because they finally did what the fans wanted and they made Wolverine gory. I do have the 4K as well, but um, this is just the standard Blu-ray steelbook. But um, it's, yeah, this film... <sighs> awesome emotional just heart it's this is superhero perfection i adore logan it is the best x-men film in my, in my opinion it just it slaps cheeks it's beautiful um it's so it's heartbreaking it's it's logan what else do i need to say it's logan uh not the most recent, but one of the most recent additions to my favorite films list is The Menu. This film is, I remember seeing it in the cinema, and this is such a unique piece of filmmaking to me. It is funny, yet scary, intense, yet kind of, it's just, it's awesome. It just, it's the most, it's the most, like, thrilled I've been in a cinema, like, last year John Wick takes the cake now but last year this was the most like fr breath of fre breath br breath of what <laughs> breath of fresh air film like it just feels so unique so fresh it is fantastic I implore you to watch the menu if you probably have you probably already seen it because it's on Disney plus but my god what a film Ray Fiennes is uh, another recent addition, and I mean, it's Top Gun Maverick. It's incredible. The practicality of this film is incredible. Tom Cruise is great. Just this film is, I mean, it, it, it's fantastic. One of the best action films ever made. What else do you want to say? It's Top Gun Maverick. My, and now for the other Bond film that I said was tied with Casino Royale. It's no time to die. This film shows a side of Bond that I actually adore it for showing. Um, I think... Daniel Craig's performance in this is beautiful. And the fact that, spoilers, okay, he dies at the end, had me in bits. This is such an incredible film. And I did not expect it to go as hard as it does. It's, my, it's probably tied with Casino Royale for my favorite Bond film. Absolute cinema. Please watch this, it is incredible. And the most recent addition and the final one in the, t in the, in the, um, 20 I picked out Puss in Boots The Last Wish I saw this film twice in cinemas made me cry both times this film is beautiful the animation is gorgeous very Spider-Verse like and the story is just so heartwarming and I love it I've not fallen in love with the film so quickly it, oh please I implore you to watch this film it is absolute peak animation and peak cinema it is one of the best films of the year incredible shit and that was 20 of my favorite films across two parts. I do hope you enjoyed these videos. Let me know again. Any of these your favorite, any of these you hate. Let's converse, I love conversing. Um, but yes, um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you do enjoy this, remember to like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.